Hi, I'm Marcel Haddix. I'm Dean's Associate Professor and Department Chair of Reading and Language Arts at Syracuse University. I'm excited to talk with you today about the insights column that I wrote for the Journal of Literacy Research. Its title is Diversifying Teaching and Teacher Education Beyond Rhetoric and Toward Real Change. My own experience um, as a student, um, I've never had a teacher who looked like me beyond the black women educators in my family. My own experience informs my work, my experience as a student, as a pre-service teacher um, in, in a predominantly white teacher education program, and now also as a teacher educator where I work with mostly white female middle class English monolingual uh, pre-service teachers. I see a great need um, and, and the importance of cultivating racial and linguistic diversity within teacher education and specifically within literacy and English education. And so this column uh, stems from that work and I essentially am inviting a conversation with literacy researchers and educators to think about the ways that we can encourage real change within our teacher education programs because ultimately if we're calling for culturally relevant uh, anti-racist and equity-minded pedagogies within literacy classrooms, we have to begin by thinking about who are the educators um, within those classrooms working with a mostly um, a racially and linguistically diverse classroom population. So I start the column first by um, offering a historical look at why there are, um, there is a limited presence of teachers of color in schools today. Um, thinking about how post-Brown versus Board of Education, the displacement of Black teachers. I begin there, and then I move toward thinking about um, the various policy and teacher education pipeline initiatives um, that are looking at how we can increase teacher diversity. So I look at some of the initiatives in big cities like um, New York and Philadelphia, um, also in South Carolina, there is the Call Me Mister program uh, that is about increasing teachers within their uh, teacher preparation program and creating pipelines for more students of color. And then I end by um, basically calling for the importance of centering the voices of teachers and pre-service teachers of color um, and making sure that they're at the table when we talk about um, the various issues and the needs to increase um, diversity within our programs, we must first think about what are the ways that we as uh, teacher educators, policymakers, literacy researchers, what are the ways that we can begin to change the culture and the environment that oftentimes um, is, is not welcoming or pushes out teachers of color. So this column is essentially meant to begin a conversation and hopefully move us toward thinking about um, moving beyond rhetoric and toward real change.